I'm Kalina at Street Notes, and right now in your 13 Action News update, a new lawsuit is expected to be filed today against the State Employment Office. Now, back in May, attorney Mark Thurman filed a lawsuit demanding Dieter open up the POA website. Now, he's filing an amended legal complaint demanding Dieter begin paying his clients, all of them frustrated POA claimants. Now, they include rideshare drivers who have had pending issues with their claims. DMV driving skills tests are expected to resume today after an examiner in Las Vegas tested positive for COVID-19. This is at the West Flamingo office. The DMV director says they are now reevaluating protocols because they have to sit close to drivers. Examiners now are required to wear personal protective equipment. Wet and Wild is reopening today. The water park will only open to 50% capacity for social distancing guidelines. All guests and employees will be temperature checked before entering, and employees will also wear face masks and gloves. Wet and Wild says all life jackets, inner tubes, and rafts will be disinfected after each use. There will also be sanitizing stations across the park. Well, it, it is officially summertime and our temperatures certainly reflecting that the heat is on this week with that daytime high close to 107 today and possibly the hottest day of the week by tomorrow. That daytime high of 109 degrees will be flirting with 110 in some regions. We'll see some extra cloud cover midweek associated with a storm system bringing isolated storms to the southern Sierras, but for the most part, we'll just see some afternoon breezes associated with that. Mostly sunny skies through the tail end of the week, and we will keep those temperatures running 5 to 10 degrees above average through the rest of the seven days. All right, Kelsey, thank you. That was your 13 Action News update. You can find more on our website, ktv.com, and our free mobile app.